In today's vlog, the Peugeot gets pretty much all the attention, and then the, my bicycle gets a little remake, a little bit of refresh. Hello! So, gonna go and try to start up the Peugeot again. The issue with the fuel gauge was it didn't have a good ground, but now I think it has uh, too good of a ground, so now the plus cables are acting up for the fuel pump. The fuel gauge works, but the fuel pump doesn't really function and it blows the fuse and now the Peugeot has to the starter motor some sort of a grounding issue. Wait a minute. Hold your horses. I think I got everything figured out. The Peugeot has a bad starter motor. First of all, bad starter motor. Second of all, uh, bad cables to the starter motor and uh, the fr from the battery all the other cables all also need to be replaced. Uh, third, uh, it it works and the plus side cables from the fuel pump to the, the other system work just fine. There is just issue with the uh, charger, the charger unit uh, charges the battery but the battery has good voltage but the battery doesn't really power up the starter motor so the it doesn't spin up the engine fast enough when i plug the jumper back or something that gives little bit more juice it will crank over just fine so there's that issue and now yeah back to the I don't know where that came from, probably because the engine doesn't have any underbody, so it has like maybe 25 years of corrosion if it isn't sealed properly. But yeah, here's the Peugeot. So yeah, now I need to get back, get that hood open. Surprising, I didn't need to do nothing to this Peugeot. It just start up right away. Oh, that's a very good thing. Now I can just take these, put them on the passenger side and drive it to front of the house and do a couple of things to this thing. So yeah, this is very good. Very, very good. So I'm gonna grab the WD-40. So the issue as you guys can see, there's like corrosion inside of those cables. These look to be all like somewhat in good condition. Like don't like I can see some copper there. So they just have some surface corrosion. But in here, see that? That one? Yeah. To there goes these two cables to one connector and especially the other one start to wiggle it around that will probably break off and then the starter motor uh, the solenoid you can see that there there's the solenoids plus and the red one and under it is the minus one. And as you can see, the minus one looks a uh, ton of is a lot blacker than the surrounding, like doesn't have any dust on top of it. And I believe that is that goes from the starter to the solenoid. So it's the like two centimeters of the ground cable so yeah but for now I'm just gonna just oil all of these yeah 
Yeah, I got carried away with the cleaning. I took off this, all of this bolt and clean off between all of that and found out that couple of these uh, wires have some broken copper in them. But I think I don't need to worry about that right now. I need to just worry about will it start up. But yeah, I now need to just clean up all the tools and then see if it will crack over again. So now we will see will measure crack over. So now the one of the first jobs is to change out the headlight bulb. On a pressure, this is quite a simple job. You take off this plastic, then you have the connector itself. You pull that off, then there's this metal piece that you just push and then twist a little bit and then the whole headlight bulb comes out put it there and then the new one can be reinstalled like that then the metal bracket like that and so put the plastic cover like that oh yeah now it's now it's fixed to take off the tail light and change like some of the bolts on a pressure it's really simple you take off these two knobs like thumb screws finger screws take that off then that plastic comes off then there's these two connectors you need to push that metal bit down and then pull this other part has this plastic piece you push it like outward and then you try to pull it like that now all of it's unplugged the headlight just comes out loose and then it's here now that you change the bulbs you need to take these two plastic parts pull them to to like pinch them and then the whole thing comes apart so now the Peugeot headlight, the rear lights are removed. I need to clean up this uh, motherboard, could I say, where are these metal bits. Anyway, for this job I'm gonna use some WD-40 uh, electronic cleaner uh, bulbs and is this scotch bright? Probably. Well, this green stuff. I'm gonna with this green stuff clean up all these like where the bulb goes and a side of the bulb. Then when that's done I'm gonna use some of the electro cleaner then uh, use some VD40 to protect it and get like a little bit less corrosion out of there. I don't know really, it just oils things up. So yeah, I'm gonna do this now. So most of the corrosion was here at the bottom. And yeah, now that all of that is cleaned up, I need to reinstall the bulbs. Put one of these in here and then reinstall it back into the frame and then rinse and repeat to the other headlight no the rear tail light. now 
Herald Bees headlights are all cleaned up, reassembled, and now I need to drill some holes to right about here. Probably or where's the lowest point? Like as you guys can see there's a, a ton of water. Or maybe I could just drill here and here and then. the first headlight reinstallation part and now you're gonna see the other one where I'm gonna explain this uh, on the other side it didn't have this small smaller connector but yeah you gotta plug that in then you plug the big connector which after you can put the plastic uh, plastic piece it and worked. then it two nuts and then once you put the two, two nuts don't tighten them all the way down because you need to uh, make sure the caps are correct for the headlight and you're asking like what you mean like what caps it just reinstalls and that's it no look there's a huge gap, like really big. There's a really weird gap, and then this is all closed up. But let me just. Oh, uh -huh. I got the other one a little bit too tight. So yeah, loose it up. Then you gotta lift it up, like so, and you can see the gaps. Uh, go away so yeah you need to lift it up a little bit the headlight and then it will have better caps but, and now it has all the way around good caps Tires and one big black three. good. Now the rim is painted with some white primer first. A interruption again. So I needed to use some primer for the rim because the rim had a rim brake surface or like the brakes that pinch together on the rim, not the disc brakes. So uh, that surface is just bare metal, so their paint doesn't have really anything to stick to. So the primer allowed to the paint to stick so to something. So I put some white primer first because I didn't have anything else, and then I put the black paint, which after it was fabulous. Then two coats of this Maston Easy Spray and it blends in really nicely. So this is very good. Very good finish going to be. And then it's going to have the uh, white wall tire so it gonna look real good. Oh she do they look Nice. Like real good. Now I need to just fit these onto the frame.
bicycle turned out real good, really nice, and yeah, the pressure is kind of fixed, it still has the graphic issue, starter issue, and yeah, the starter and the grounds need to be changed before that thing can be back on the road, but anyway, thank you for watching this vlog. At least I hopefully you liked this more than the other ones, cause I I would try to explain a little bit better than on the last ones. So this may be a little bit more interesting to watch than the previous ones. But yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Ciao. At least at least now the bike is reliable.